Hello, everyone, and welcome to Philly Crypto Trading Plus. Uh, are you confused by the price volatility that's been going on, a lot of it lately? Are you wondering where prices will be next? Well, look no further. You're definitely in the right place. I'm here to solve these problems for you by providing clear, concise, and competent technical analysis. In today's tutorial, we will be covering Polkadot. Okay. Now, the things we'll be covering in the, today's video, we're going to talk about uh, a Fib retracement. We're going to talk about the 20-day SMA. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a rising trend line that's going on, an ascending parallel channel, and the uh, relative strength and on-balance volume as well. Uh, make sure you stick around to the end, guys, because I'm going to give you an idea and my interpretation of where I think we're going next. Okay. So make sure you stick around for that. Okay. Now, uh, before we get right into the video, guys, please smash that like button. Uh, because it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content, and it, and it certainly makes a huge difference to me, so I certainly would appreciate that, okay? With that in mind, let's get right into the video. First of all, we've got a Fibonacci retracement, a pullback. Um, if you guys haven't uh, watched some of my videos before, I recommend you go back and listen to the Bitcoin and Ethereum videos uh, where we cover uh, pullbacks of 0.5% on the Fibonacci retracements. Um, a lot of these altcoins are a little bit more volatile, less coins outstanding. Uh, and so what you'll notice firstly with this one is we pulled all the way back to the one, not a 0.5, but one. That's twice the pullback of a Bitcoin Ethereum. People, when, when you're trading altcoins or even investing in them, they go up more than Bitcoin, the main coin. You look like a hero, but you know if you are stuck holding on to it when it uh, pulls back, as it will more extremely, uh, you're looking like a zero. So we're here to help you avoid that, okay? So that in mind, the one pullback, twice the same uh, of, of Bitcoin, 2640, right? That's exactly where we pulled back to and we stopped. So now we've run up and we've looked what looks to be a lower high that's formed now. So what we have going on here, guys, is probably what's considered to be a symmetrical triangle, not a descending or an ascending triangle, but more of a symmetrical triangle. So we're, we've got two touches on the high side. We got several touches on the, on the low side, depending on how or when you want to count that. But the bottom line is, guys, we're going to want to pay very close attention to this 0.5 Fibonacci retracement, which is at 34.39. Okay, very, very important. This is the pinnacle of this triangle. Happens to be 0.5 Fibonacci. So there's going to be a pivotal move coming. So as you can see, today being the uh, 7th of March, 6th of March, excuse me. I guess my calendar's off here. Um, we're probably going to be looking in the next four or five days to get this pinnacle, maybe less. Okay, just give an idea. So, guys, be heads up. Now, I want to go back real quickly. Just I'm going to bounce for a second, guys. Trading rules, okay? People get themselves in trouble all the time. I want to help you solve this problem for good. You solve a problem before it's created, okay? With these big pullbacks, you're, you're left, oh my gosh, I'm down. What did I do? Well, you didn't follow the trading rules. You weren't disciplined. So, here, I'm here to help you. So, 3 to 7% is the rule of a trader. Depending on how aggressive you are, depending on what your time frame is, depending on what your goals are. Three to seven percent, depending on where you're at. Nobody can decide that for you, but that's a range. Okay. So what that means is as these prices rise, remember from four to five dollars, what a tremendous move that was. Um, you want to continue to let your stop rise. You put your stops in and you, you move it up as the price rises. And you you must be aggressive with that because what you want to do is crowd yourself out of the stock with as much profit as possible. Three to seven percent on a like like look at here. Twenty-three dollars, right? Twenty-three on the fifteenth of February to five days later. Five days later, forty-two. What's wrong with 75-80%? You lose three percent, you're out. Hmm. That's okay with me, right? So these are the kind of things you look for. Now, I just drew on the map here for you guys. Look, 3.95. I just picked right in the middle. Just to give you an idea. You know, you should be out right there, guys. 3 to 7%. Okay? 3% is probably about uh, a, maybe 41, 40 and a half thereabouts. 7% uh, would be a little more than this. You're probably looking at about maybe 40 they're about maybe maybe just a bit below so so my point is anywhere between there guys 42 depending on where what your time frame is depending on what your uh, level of comfort is okay be out follow it pick your stops don't get into a trade if you're a holder different story but if you're a trader you better be putting those stops in okay do not Enter a trade. Do not think about where you're going without putting a stop in. Okay, this protects you. You're sleeping. You get up in the morning. What the hell happened? 
solve the problem before it's created. I can't stress this enough. Keep you guys out of trouble. A lot of people crying all the time. They lost this. They lost that. Stop. You got to do the rules. You follow them correctly. Discipline is the name of the game. So with that in mind, guys, just wanted to give it. Let's get this out of the way. Now I want to go back, touch upon this again. Our fibs, okay? So right now we've got the pinnacle is triangle forming. And by the way, this lower line here, I know it's close, but this is our um, trend line that's been forming now since the beginning of the year. And uh, as you notice here, these touches here are above that trend line, which is uh, a positive sign. But when we get to this triangle, we're looking for a pivotal move. And if anybody watched Zcash or Litecoin, uh, we, we went to the downside from there. So th when this has happened, as Pinnacle's getting close, you better be on top of your game. If you're trading, you better be ready to go. You better be sharp. You better be quick. You better have your stops in. You better have them tight. Okay? That in mind, we're looking for a pivotal move here in the next several days. All right? Now, we're going to go real quickly into the four hour time frame. That was the daily, by the way. Okay. Here's a little closer look at that symmetrical triangle that's forming. Okay. So also a parallel channel, an ascending parallel channel going on here, guys. Look at here. Whoop. Look at this. Touch there, touch there. Look at these touches. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So now we're moving up out of there, which is awesome, right? But here's the thing. We're going to be approaching that middle of that channel right a little bit before this apex, right? So I'd be watching real close when we get in the 36s to see if we can get through this middle of this channel and start heading back to this upper uh, part of the channel because if we're not going to get up there and we're going to start failing a little bit that's going to be a lower high and we're going to be careful and uh, guard against pullbacks guys get make sure I can't stress it enough stop 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 I know it's sound repetitive but guys there's a lot of people out there not doing this right that's what I'm here to do help you out so be looking real close right here in the 36's guys we need to move up through that okay Watch closely between here and here. And that's going to take place um, between this now and maybe the 10th or 11th. So next four or five days, guys, be watching closely. All right? So with that in mind, guys, where I'm, what do I think we're really going to be going next? Mm, actually, wait a sec. Before we get there, I'm going to cover this real quick. Our relative strength is looking very strong, guys. We're flattening out here at 57. Anything above 50 here, it's almost like a double bottom here. Anything above 50, guys, that we should continue rising in strength, and that's what we're looking to do. Our on-balance volume is also flattening out, which is nice. But, you know, again, guys, when the pinnacle's triangle hits, we're going to see something pivotal going on. So so we're, we're doing good in those regards, but next several days is going to be very important. Now, where do I think we're going next, guys, honestly? We've run a lot very quickly. We saw what uh, Zcash has done. We saw what uh, Litecoin has done. If you don't know about this, go back and watch my videos. So if we get a pullback, guys, you know, we could be looking back down at this 26 level, okay? But obviously our support before that is going to be uh, 29.82, that's our 0.786 Fibonacci retracement, okay? And then again, that 26.4 and the 1. So these are our next uh, downside targets. Let's see what's going to hold. I do like this consolidation, though, since this high has been hit, the 42.38. Uh, I like that, but again, guys, pinnacle. This is really everything you need to pay attention to. So right now, we're looking to see some consolidate. If we're going to continue higher, guys, we need to consolidate a little bit longer and form a better base to move on up out of there. If you didn't watch my Zcash video I just did, that gives you a better idea of a, of a consolidation and a base forming. If you want to look at the chart patterns for that, give you an idea. So we need a little bit more time of consolidation here, guys, if we're going to move higher. However, uh, in, in, until we get that, I think we're going to probably take a bit of a move down and we're going to be looking at these targets, okay? I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Uh, I want to turn this video over to you guys now. And I want you in the comments below, please tell me, do you own uh, some polka dot? And are you a holder or are you a trader? And most importantly, what did you learn today 
from this video? What's the most important thing that stuck out for you? Because that's the goal of the channel. Please add that in the comments below. I'd certainly appreciate that. Now, please make sure if you guys get some value out of this and you like what you see and you hear, please make sure that you subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, the more subscribers that we get, the better and more content I can make, uh, continue to make for you guys. So please like, share, and subscribe. Now, if you want to learn more, please be sure and watch this next video.